All right, so I have all my, my Super Cub here. The leg shield and everything's gone, or taken off, I should say. Uh, I have a video on, on taking all that stuff off, so uh, if you want to learn how to do that, you know, check out that video. So right now, what I'm doing here is I have this right here. It's a USB, uh, basically, power kit, right? So you plug it in right right underneath your uh, keychain, or not keychain, but your emission switch. Um, this is a Kitako. There's the part number. What you want? So it says uh, right here. It says C125, right? That means Super Cub, and that's the Kitako part number right there. Um, so I got this from WeBike. Took forever to get here, three over three months by ship, by boat, because of you know, because of the pandemic. If it wasn't the pandemic. I probably would have got it. It probably would have taken like maybe uh, a little bit over a month, uh, like a month and a half at, at most. I usually order from from we by, by by ship, and you know, and the weight's not that bad. But with the pandemic, man, that weight was took forever. So let's see what we got here. So we got a mounting bracket, which I don't need. Well, actually, no, I do need. I think of the wrong wrong thing, wrong uh, wrong item. Mounting bracket. So that's gonna mount with a. Uh, there's a, uh, a little hole that mounts the wind, sh the leg shield. That's where that mounts. And this will uh, basically, this will slip into this ring right here. Right, this, this, you know, the, the part right there. This part down right here, I, I basically you unscrew this thing right here. You unscrew that and you slip it through. And you slip it through and, and this ring clamps right between, right in here. Um, and this thing is from again from Kotaku. See, so there's two plugs. Huh? Can't remember what the power setting was on this. Uh, two plugs. Um, on the other end here, there's a plug here. Let's take this off. Oops. So there's this right here. So that's the obviously the positive and the ground right so that's for the plug or the, uh, the right and this right here that's where it plugs in right? it plugs in and this end right here plugs into i believe this right here this is the uh this plug right here is the diagnostic um that's the uh diagnostic uh, connection i think right here so if you lift out the battery cover this little the purple or blue or whatever color that is that's your diagnostic connection oh no this is not a diagnostic connection this is a jumper excuse me this is a jumper this is a jumper for the diagnostic connection where is uh, where the hell is the diagnostic connection at so this is a jumper not the not the uh not the uh, um not the <laughs> not the plug itself where the hell oh right here and that that's not the connection is over here, so it's a red one. So let's put this back in here. Let's just go in like that. Okay. So that was a jumper plug for over here. So the dynamic connection is this red plug over here. There it is. So that's the diagnostic connection here. So basically, all the all the new Hondas nowadays with the um, with the fuel injection, they they tend to have some type of diagnostic connection somewhere. So that's what you use. I remember my my Elite One Ten had that too. Had a diagnostic connection. Uh, how do you take this thing off? Let's see. Solid. Swing here, and this little one right here. Oh. I just cut my nails last night too, so I have no nails right now. No nails too. Oh, right here. 
Not pushing down, it's lifting up. It's actually lifting up when you take it up. There it goes. So not pushing down, it's actually lifting up right here. So this right here, you connect it to this plug, right? Connect it in like so. And you connect this in like so. Let's see, so it's labeled. Once it's ground and one is ACC, ACC means accessory. That basically means when your ignition is turned on, it will uh, it would turn on the ACC uh, plug. So let's plug that in. Let's do a test run real fast, see if it works. Oops. Um, okay, and now I need to get a, a USB plug and and get something to plug it into see if it, see if this power ups or not. All right, so I got my. USB connector right here. Um, I have a uh, have my little uh, action cam. Let's plug this in. I can't remember what how much power this thing puts out right here. Can't remember it was one amp or what. All right, so let's look at it right now. So if I plug it in there, there's power, this light right here, it should light up right here, All right? But there shouldn't be any power because the ignition is not on yet. Let me tie that side. So there's no light, no blinking, no nothing. That's the bottom one. Let me try the top one. Same thing, nothing. Okay, so we know it's nothing. It went, right now, because the, the, the ignition is off, let me turn on the ignition. Oh, there it goes. It lights up. That's good. That means. That mean, oh, and right here too. It lights up right here too. See that? It's blue now. The lighting down here is blue. Okay, you can see that. Light right here is blue. Let's try the bottom plug. So, yep, bottom plug works too. So, both plug works. So, that's good. It's a good sign. Alright, so let me turn it off. Let's see this light turn off. Yep, light turns off. So, it's good. Everything's good. All right, so we are we're in the game now. Now we just need to uh, put the uh, leg shoe back on and run this this line right here. So I'm, how am I going to run this line? Let's see how do I want to run this line. Uh, I need to figure out how to, how I want this plug too. I need to plug this back in somehow somewhere. I think it's gonna fit back uh, back in here. I don't, I don't think so. It might. Let me see if I can try to fit it back in here. Oh, look at this. There's another blue plug right here. Oh, this is where the jumper is. So earlier I had taken off the jumper right here. So the jumper actually doesn't plug here up here. The jumper actually plugs on this blue plug. So this red one, this red plug here has four, four, uh, um, four connectors, whereas the blue one only has. I think the blue one only has two. Yeah, there's only two on here, two connectors. Okay. So, so the, there's a diagnostic plug over here. This one only has two connectors, so that's where it goes. Anyway, so let's uh, see if I could try to put this back in the same spot. If I can, that'd be great. If I can't, then I have to figure out something else. fit nope it's not gonna fit okay so i guess i have to, I have to leave this kind of free dangling then but i'm not sure if, if i leave it free dangling i'm not sure if i could get the cover back on because the cover is like literally right here it's very tight everything here in here is an extremely tight fit i mean you barely fit anything at all I was barely able to fit in the uh I was barely able to fit in the uh, um the uh my pigtail for my uh, heated vest. I have it in here, but that was a very tight fit as well. I should see some here. I wonder if I get. I wonder if it's long enough to reach out to up here. I don't think it is though. Oh, well, it might be. It might be. Oh well, yeah, it actually, it is. It is long enough. Okay. I'm gonna drop both of these wires in out the same spot. 
same location. So now the only question I have is how am I going to run it without interfering with anything else? So I guess I have to run it on this side then. But not on either side. Either side will work. But this, this, this right here is already on the, the throttle side, so I might as well just leave it on the throttle side. Oh, that pushes on this, so that's not good. Man, there's like no space. Nope. The cover's right there. The cover's right here. Let's see if I could put this right in here. Like that. Oh, that might work. Yeah, I think that would work. Put it right in like that. Right up against the... Uh, and here, I think that might work. So I'll push it right up against her. Like that. So anyways, let me do this off camera and then once I finish running it, I will show you how I ran it. So the thing, one thing you need to do before you run the wires and everything is you need to slip this through. Because if you don't, it's going uh, it's gonna to give you problems because you have to slip it through the wires here, you know, slide it through the wires here first. So I'm not sure if this thing is supposed to be, which direction it's supposed to be. I'm not, not sure, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like, you know, attached like this or like that. Let's see, if it's like this, that's pretty damn far. I'm just gonna slide it through and see. It's like that. It's pretty far. I think it's gonna hit the, uh, I think it's gonna hit the leg shield right here. So with the bracket like that, I think it's gonna hit the leg shield. So I believe you have to go the other way around. But I'm hoping right, otherwise I might have to flip it back around the other way. That means you have to take everything off. The leg shield is kind of a pain in the ass to take off. All right, so it's like that, I think. So I believe it to be like this. So that way it's a little bit more forward. Give you gives the leg shield a little bit more room a little bit higher up as well yeah i think it's like that actually let me bring this up against the leg shield you guys can see the leg shield behind us or behind the bike right here uh, like this there's definitely more space for sure Oh, there's plenty of space behind the, behind the leg shield. I think that's a good space right there too. Like that. Otherwise, you have to remember that I also have a rack back here. Get it this direction. This won't work. It hits the lace shield on the side right here. So that won't work. Okay, so it's the other way then. So I was right. I was right with it like this. Okay. So it's basically, it's like this, with the bracket at the bottom, the mounting hole at the bottom, and uh, the, the L part of it points forward, bottom and forward, and it's like that. Okay? All right, so other thing you gotta do, as far as routing your thing is, you have to route it through here first, because this head is so big that, you know, you can't slip this head through right here, right? So you have to, from the other end, Got to slip this through, through it, to the uh, throttle side hole right here. And you have to have your plate right here like this, so that way it slips through here because 
this piece right here, it doesn't really fit. It doesn't fit through here, all right? It doesn't fit through here. So you have to basically set it up, you know, basically you have to get it ready, uh, ready for, for installation, basically, like so. Um, and from there, you basically have to kind of set the uh, leg shield over here so that way you can have the cable down right here and run the cable to the uh, the plug over here. All right, see how that makes sense? Um, I'm not sure if I want to do this on, on video or not because you know, it might take a while, but yeah, let me try it. Let me try it. So, I'm gonna do like so. You could, if you're here in the background, you hear it raining. The camera's getting wet, that's all right. I'm using my, you guys are watching it on the iPhone 12 mini. The iPhone 12 mini is actually, uh, um, it's actually a uh, um, kind of waterproof, semi waterproof. I don't know how do I get this in here. Like so. like that and you just, you just kind of have to leave it like this oops you just kind of have to leave it like this while you're routing the, the cable from underneath from underneath the leg shield kind of like so right, this is from underneath like that now I can plug it in. All right. See, so black to black. Red to red. All right, like that. I actually also have my. Uh, my electric, uh, the plug for my electric vest in here as well. Let me pull that out, it's down here somewhere. Let's see, like I can barely reach it. Let's see. Okay, there it is. Oops, hung up something. What is it hung up on? Okay, I guess through as well. So this plug right here, I mean the other end, the battery end is bigger because it has that fuse. So this plug right here it actually doesn't quite fit in here. It's a bit too big, so what I have to do is here, so I'm gonna take a file and kind of file this a little bit, just enough so that way I can squeeze this, this plug through in here. Okay, so I have this power wire coming out of this hole, this, the, my electric vest is gonna come out this other side. All right. So I need to get a file and do that. All right, so uh, I took the wrap tail file and I filed it a little bit right here towards the bottom side. And you can see it's kind of black right there. Hopefully you guys can see that to get this plug through. So now I kind of took, took the slack out of the, I mean, I took all the slack out of the, the line so all the slack is on this side now. So I can look at my, uh, you know, my cable over here on this other side and then it's just tucked everything in i want to zip tie these things but the thing is i don't have no space because of the leg shield to get my hand underneath there to zip tie it so i'm just gonna leave it you know leave it as is i think it'll be okay um, i don't think there's nothing rubbing I'm, i try to tuck everything on the onto the to the uh the shifter side so hopefully that works and it's not you know it doesn't rub on anything i'm just gonna basically put this back in zip this thing back in Okay, that works. So anyways, as far as putting the leg shield back on, you can, you can watch my video and I have a video on that. So I don't need to make this video any longer than the video is. All right, so I got everything pretty much back together. So this way here, this was the bolt and spacer that came with this rack. Uh, so I won't, I'm not gonna be using that. I'm actually gonna be using the bolt and spacer that comes with the uh with this ignition uh usb thing so let's look at it real quick right here like so 
and you see that the spacing for the rack is a little thicker, right? It's a little thicker, but but the uh, but the USB uh, plug, the thread is a little bit, you know, there's more thread exposed. But if I take, but if I take this uh, this uh, this right here and add in this thickness right here to the spacer, it actually comes out to be the same. Right here, like so. It actually comes out to be the same, you know, as far as the, the, the thickness of this spacer. So this spacer plus this thickness here is the same as the thickness of this spacer. And this, the thread that's exposed, it comes out to be the same as this as well. So I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use this one right here that came with the, uh, the, the USB. Um, so I'm gonna route it underneath like so. I'm gonna put this, hopefully it fits in the back right here like that. Something like that uh, is what I'm hoping. Um, so it's pretty, everything's so damn small and tight in here. It's kind of hard to get to. Okay, hopefully I don't drop nothing. Okay, so this USB is kind of in the way. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to disconnect this. Oops. Yeah, it's in the way. Right there. So I'm gonna have to disconnect this right here. Like so, and, and do uh, do that. Just the bolt by themselves, like that. So let's see. So, yeah, in there. Oh, oh, got in. Let's see, what's that number five? Looks like number five, Alan. Five, Alan, right here. So, this rack. You know, when it's made, it's kind of flared out. Uh, so, uh, you definitely see the tension, that tension. Oops, on the, uh, oops. Should have done that. Let's take this thing around. Oh, damn it. Oh man, it's all scratched up too, god damn it. Oh, there, we, there we go. Jeez. Actually, no, it's not too bad. Scratching is not too bad. I can see it, but it's not that bad. So I think I have to angle this more to clear the uh, damn I'll scratch right here too. To clear the uh, um, to clear the leg shield. Man, that's pretty tight. Okay, so on the other side right here, this is almost touching. I mean, I could barely see light through there. Let's see if you guys can see that. See that? There's like barely light through there. So that's like maybe about a millimeter, a millimeter in space right here. But, uh, and this, this, this bracket is, is basically rotated counterclockwise as much as it could go because it's hitting the rack down here. So that's as much as I could do it. Um, can't do any more than that. So hopefully this, thing one, this one fits here yeah, okay. I think it will. And underneath, right there, like that. Like so. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that works. Okay. We're good. I'm gonna call that good. And we're done. Well, I need to put this cap on right here, but otherwise, besides that, we're done. So there we go. Um, 
you know, every time I do whatever, I'm getting a step closer to uh, turning this bike into a, a, a touring bike, basically. On-road touring bike. Um, anyways, so that's done. Actually, let me double check, make sure everything is, uh, is powered up and everything. Where's my keys? Remember when the thing, this thing powers up, the light here turns blue. Uh, let's see. Yeah, turn it on. Yep, it's blue. I'm not sure you guys can see that, but it's blue. Okay, now the blue is off, so it's good. Alright, so that's good. Alright, thanks for watching.